What secret are you keeping right now? I know a couple that broke up about a year ago. They still are friends though and work together and I'm not supposed to tell anyone they broke up. After this long I wonder if it's just a long. Elaborate test of my loyalty. Guys the test part was a joke. They're not evil humans lol. I suspect that my conversations with a friend is being sent to my ex. Who is trying to bring me down. My buddy and his wife are expecting their second kid. He got really drunk one night and told me the news with the biggest smile on his face. I'm the only one who knows right now. My happy. Wholesome little secret. My buddy is planning on leaving his wife. Mostly because he found out that his kid isn't actually his. And he suspects the one she's pregnant with isn't either. I am getting a biopsy on Friday. I may have cancer but I am not telling my siblings or my mom because she also has cancer and it would destroy her to know I might have it also. I am 47 and my sister. Dad. Uncle and aunt all died of cancer. Doctor says the saw level I have means I have a 25% chance of having cancer. Biopsy is over. Thank god. Doctor said my prostate looks normal. I won't get the results back until next week. Edit. My results are in. What I heard was a 75% chance of not having cancer. Good odds and I hope you get good news. My family doesn't know I walked out of my job nearly 4 weeks ago. I had 2 solid interviews that fell through afterwards and I'm still looking. I think I'll get a call back after the job interview I had today. I'm too embarrassed to tell them because I don't want any more financial help from them. I'm late on rent and broke. The last time I went to my mom's house I stole a couple rolls of toilet paper. Did it. Wow I didn't expect this comment to blow up. Thank you for the kind words everybody. As a mom. Don't let yourself become homeless before you let her know what's going on. They love you. Hugs. That I'm so lonely after moving to a new city for a girlfriend who broke up me two weeks ago. I was married to my ex for eight years. Drove her to Alaska from Virginia in late 2017. We went because she joined the Air Force and got stationed there. She went on deployment about 6 months after being there and when she came back 6 months later she dumped me. I had to live in her house and drive her to and from work every day for 2 months before I was able to leave. Now I'm living in my parents spare room and all I have is my computer. My car. And my tools. I'm lost and I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. It only gets worse for me so I feel like I'm afraid to do anything with my life because whatever I do or however hard I try things get taken. Broken. Or fail on me. I have to pretend I'm good every day and there's nothing good about each day. I just graduated from college and now I'm really depressed. I'm supposed to be looking for a job right now but all I want to do is sleep. Edit. I am overwhelmed by your response to my comment. Thank you for taking the time to commiserate or give advice. You've given me a lot to think about and I appreciate you all reaching out. I ate some dollar store cookies yesterday and then myself 20 minutes later. That the operations manager at my work who is a to the core, her name is actually Karen. Shocker, is under investigation for several incidents that should hopefully get that snake canned. Also, I was the one in 10th grade that accidentally my pants in class and those were my boxes in the trash can in the bathroom. I have a chocolate bar in my backpack. It's mine and I rarely have chocolate and I'm not sharing it. I'm bulimic. Only my wife knows. And not to the fullest extent. I really do care about it that much but I'm 29 and still a virgin. I was raised super religious so dating was out of question. I started losing my faith when I was 23. Another secret. Comma I feel like I'm so far behind when it come to dating that I never really found the courage to even ask anyone out. Edit. Thank you everyone for the support, and the awards. Comma it really means a lot. Not keeping it anymore. But I was born with cleft lip and palate so when people asked about my scars. I said I got into a knife fight. I was also like 7 inches taller than everyone and a hockey goon. 
So all my private school friends thought I was just a badass. Rachel and Mark are hooking up and nobody else in the department knows except me. Edit. This isn't a reference to a television show. Wait till Ross finds out. He always suspected. I let my cousin win when I play Smash Bros with her and she always gets really happy when she wins. Lately. She's been letting me win instead and I love seeing her smile when I win. Edit. I really really like my best friend. She's just got out of a long term mentally abusive relationship. Lots of negative comments in this thread. Here's a positive. My co-worker is going to re-propose to his wife next month on vacation with a new ring and then, re, marry her on the beach. He's a total hardass. Non-emotional type. But he was so giddy when he told me. She doesn't know. Of course. Last Christmas I had to go to the ER because my nuts hurt extremely bad. Told my parents that they just started hurting out of nowhere. I actually tried doing the destroy dick December thing and I busted 6 nuts in one day. I was at the ER for 3 hours and they had to take an ultrasound of my balls. Edit for more info. I was diagnosed with epididymitis and I stopped the challenge after that. Last Christmas I damaged my nuts. Throw away because duh. I committed fraud to get out of school. I legit faked my mother's death certificate so I could leave with little repercussions after the ad drop period. Told everyone my mom died in a car accident and I had to leave to take care of the estate. I am doing much better mentally now. My depression hasn't actually gotten any better and if anything has gotten worse. I felt so I'm guilty any time I talked to one of my friends about the way I feel. And I couldn't take it anymore. So now they all think I'm doing a lot better and I don't know what to do with myself. Edit. I should also mention I lost my job at the start of the year and due to that no longer have money or insurance and can't afford therapy or my prescription anymore. I really want to kiss my friend. He has. Nice lips. Also. When he hugs me or something. I like it. It looks like I don't but I do. I have a bad case of intrusive thoughts. Semicolon. Edit. Ro. I did not expect this to get high rated. Thank you kind strangers for your words. I won a $10.000 scholarship to pay back school loans. I was told I was the top pick over hundreds of students. But BCI don't deal well with direct praise. My family doesn't and won't know. I told my best friend. Who knows I'm in love with him. That I'm moving on and trying to find someone else. But really I don't know if I'll ever actually move on. I just don't want him to feel bad. My wife might be pregnant and she is really against me telling anyone, including family, until the 3 month mark. Even though we might be buying a house soon so two very big expenses starting at once scares the out of me. We rent now. Update. My most upvoted comment thanks. She told me yesterday after I made the post that she was spotting and I figured that's normal. But this morning she told me that it's full on period time. This relieves me but she's not feeling the best. She was late by 3 days and we had just put 2 and 2 together. Also the house we both really want dropped their asking by 3%. To something that is still at the top of our range. I've been working out in secret and hiding my power level by wearing hoodies and wearing my hair down for the past 3 months even at the gym and at work. The plan is to go from skinny long hair to shred city crew cut and surprise everyone. So far I've amassed 18 pounds so things are on track. I'm currently working in a cafe and I work pretty hard and have more experience so I get paid a bit more than other staff and they found out. This has changed how a few of them treat me. But they don't realize I'm in the process of buying the business and how they treat me and act is going to influence if I renew their contracts or not. That I still get cravings for methamphetamine occasionally and have to fight them or else have a relapse. Semicolon. Currently finishing up my thesis in electrical engineering masters. So it would be really inconvenient to become a meth head again. I have a box of ravioli in my bed. Nice try. 
I'm low-key depressed as trying to save enough money. Like 15-25 grand and just disappear. I recently explored a kink of mine that I'd wanted to try for a long time. And I hated every second of it. The trouble is that the woman I did it with is a close friend who essentially did it as a favor. She asked me how it was. And I have no idea how to say it felt weird and gross. So now I feel like a friend. Edit. So a lot of people are suggesting that I just be open and tell her it wasn't all I thought it would be. I will try this. So I thank you all for your advice. Tell her you're happy you did it. Sometimes checking something off a list is good even if it sucks, but you don't think you'd like to do it again. You don't make her feel bad and you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Unless you're constitutionally opposed to white lies. In which case I can't help you. My Tom Holland photo album named after my dog on my phone. It's a secret don't tell anyone. I'm going to be asking the love of my life to marry me this Saturday. My friend's ass is all assault. She knows what happened to her was wrong. But doesn't want it to get out and would rather simply go to therapy than also pressing charges. I've lost 9 pounds. Good secret to keep. I'm waiting to tell people until I hit at least 20. I mind my coworker. If I could afford to support myself and my kids I would leave. But I can't. I've relapsed with my anorexia. I ate 626 calories today and burned 394. I'm going to see a doctor tomorrow because I've convinced everyone I'm tired. Bruising easily. And having joint pain because I might have Lyme again. But deep inside I know it is probably my body struggling to stay alive. Doctors told me if I relapsed as bad as I was. My body probably wouldn't be able to handle it again. I have a resting heart rate in the low 50s currently. And it my heart rate drops as low as 40 randomly during the day. I feel like I'm going to pass out nearly every time I stand up. Burning off those calories tonight. I was literally doubled over. Gasping for air. Hands on my knees trying to not fall as the ground seemed to keep rushing up to my face. Covered in growing black spots. I know I've relapsed. I know this could kill me. But it's not enough for me to overcome the messed up part of my brain that says at least you'll die thinner. I think about killing myself every day. I won't. But I think about it. Every. Day. Edit. Reading all of your replies. Your stories. And your words of encouragement to me and each other brought me to tears. I lost a person I love to suicide and the pain is like nothing I have ever experienced before. I've lost friends and family to accidents. Old age and disease and I grieved for them immensely. But losing someone to suicide is different. I can't explain it. Please seek help if you are having serious thoughts of harming yourself. You matter and are not alone. Waiting for a YouTuber to steal this thread. Had a great college experience. Was fortunate enough to travel the world. I saw things in places that I couldn't imagine and it was inspiring. After graduation I started a project to improve poor areas but I wasn't able to make a difference and got stuck in a terrible rut. Now my dad's slowly dying. My mom is blaming it all on my brother. My brother married an awful person. And every night I'm sober I dream of a noose. Skidoo skidoo. I am T H E B I G G O Y. That I'm in love with my best friend. That my brother is a registered SX offender. Convicted of possession of child pornography. I have plenty of other secrets. But that's the biggest one. I only have cell reception in my front yard at my house and I was waiting for a really important phone call this morning. I had to poop super bad but couldn't go inside and risk missing the call so I took her in my front yard. I covered it with leaves because it ended up being too big to deal with a doggy bag. I've decided to completely cut contact with my entire family once I have a job and can support myself. I'm talking changing numbers. Emails. All of it. Edit. I didn't expect this to get any kind of attention honestly. 
So I figured maybe I'd add a wine here for anyone who was interested. Both of my parents are alcoholics. My mother has narcissistic personality disorder. I've thought about a no contact with just my parents for a long time. After some thought and a few recent events, she threatened to have me committed because she doesn't like me taking up a room in her house. And various other incidents. I've decided to go through with it as soon as possible. I don't think I'll be missed by them. And it'll be an amazing fresh start after a rocky few years. Which were preceded by 18 years of emotional abuse. Some physical abuse. Etc. I'm still in love with her and I think about her every iron day and it's killing me. I'm really two kids in a trench coat. My best friend and his girlfriend are into the idea of a MMF threesome. He's heteroflexible. I cannot describe how strongly I want to be the second guy in that scenario because I'm totally into him and she's. Like. Model levels of gorgeous. Ain't no way I'm telling him that. Edit. So people have convinced me I should talk to him about it. I didn't when it first came up because I felt like I wouldn't want to be a part of that because I'd had a threesome before and didn't care for it. I thought about a way to bring it up and gauge his interests. Though. Edit to electric boogaloo. Bad news for everyone rooting for me. I brought it up saying I wanted to use him as an example in another conversation I was having. I asked what his idea was for the other guy. This was his response. I said I might be into something like that. There's no way my girlfriend would be. And I have no idea for the other guy at all. So yeah. The ball is out of my court. He's into it and she's not. There are nights when at around 12 or 1 am. I'll sneak out via my basement and go for a walk for about an hour or two. Most of the time I go down to the creek nearby and sit and listen to music. Other times I go over to my boyfriend's place and we'll cuddle. Play late night games. That my boyfriend cheated on me. I am very in love with a close friend but I'm too scared to tell her. My parents don't know I'm gay. If they found out I'd end up homeless. Edit. Thank you kind stranger for the gold. Despite me being very uncomfortable with physical contact such as hugs. It's what I crave the most. I just want to cuddle with someone and it's destroying me on the inside. I messed up a 5 year relationship by breaking up with the most amazing guy. While everyone, most friends and family, think it was due to career issues. Only me, and maybe 1-2 friends, No, they it was mostly because I got severely infatuated with another person towards the end of the relationship but was never able to discuss this issue with my ex. This led to me emotionally cheating on my ex. And guess what? The guy I was infatuated with was never serious at me. It eats me up every day. The fact I never discussed it with him. But I'm sort of glad he has moved on from me. I was toxic for him anyway. The 23rd of August. Not OP but this was the exact date I left my destructive abusive relationship and I've never looked back. I don't know the significance of this date to you OP. But I'm glad to share it with you. So I was at a party. And there were these really tasty homemade donuts. God knows what was in the donuts but I proceeded to shortly my brains out for 45 minutes after 3 donuts. Whenever someone asks me whatever I was doing in there so long I just say poop wouldn't come out. I've been talking to a guy I really like lately. Only problem is. I'm a guy myself and it would be controversial in my family. I'm sad. I was s sorely abused when I was 9. Telling anyone would ruin the guy's life. Someone who abuses someone else has given up their right to live a life without consequences. I'm so sorry you went through that experience and I hope you find the help and healing you need. But don't. For one moment. Ever feel guilty about ruining his life. He hurt you and you are in no way obligated to keep it a secret. Sending all the love and support your way. Tell someone cause he and deserves it. I played matchmaker between a self-hating Jewish girl and a racist older guy. Their new relationship is kinky as hell and I'm honestly a little jealous. 
my partner is coming to visit me in August and my parents think she's just my friend who's coming to visit me from, insert country. If my parents found out, I'd probably get thrown out or killed. I've been feeling suicidal for the past few months. I'm not happy with my life and things have not been getting better. And I know. Life sucks. Get over it or it'll get better, but it's been years. My parents are pastors of our own small church. I play drums and am very involved in everything there. But about 4 months ago, I just kind of stopped believing in God. And I was too afraid to tell anybody. I have recently told one of my closest friends. But I don't think I can ever tell my parents and I don't know what to do. I am an atheist in Saudi Arabia and no one knows. There is a woman who works in my building. I think she is hands down the most gorgeous creature to walk the earth. My high school best friend was gay. And sleeping with a man that was 15 years older. Had a wife and 4 kids. And was in the leadership of the local church for most of high school and a while after. Mormon? I have two different lives I live. Which one is cooler? I was allowed to leave work early yesterday. I bought some chicken and came home and had a nice relaxing afternoon with just me and my dog. My girlfriend came home and I told her I had just gotten home myself so she wouldn't be mad at me for not doing chores all afternoon. Little late to this thread but here goes. I got accepted into graduate school and I'm worried that I'm not ready academically or financially wise. I peeled off a quarter sized chunk of heel skin. I might eat it. I never told anyone this. But I really need to get this off my chest. I'm attracted to both girls and boys. But I don't know to the extent. I know that there's a spectrum. But the confusion of questioning every day if I just like girls. Just like guys. Like girls more than guys or like guys more than girls is absolutely killing me. I question every day and wonder what would happen if I told my family. I know my siblings would support me, not sure about my brother. But my mom's kind of iffy. I need her right now and I can't afford her to lose her or cause her any stress. I'm hiding who I am. But I don't even know who that is and that just hurts. Edit. Thank you to everyone for their support and advice. It really helped a lot. I'm pretty sure my wife doesn't know that I can hear her farting in the shower. I wasn't ecstatic but I was fine with how got ended. Go ahead and put me on blast. That I feel like an absolute failure as a mom. That I'm 6 weeks pregnant. I legitimately want to kill myself and almost certainly would if I didn't have my son to live for. He's the reason I get up in the morning and give everything I've got. Though some days that isn't much. If ever hits the fan. I plan on either quietly drinking myself to death on the riverbank on a nice calm night or jumping off of the peak of the local mountain range. Where I'd want my ashes scattered anyway. If I end up dying a non-suicide related death. Or maybe abandoning myself at sea on a little life raft. Just to see how long I'd survive. I'm always willing to help friends and family with problems and give advice. But just one time I would love for them to ask me if I'm doing okay. I've been secretly using heroin for the past 3 years and using every day for 3 months. I still hold a decent job and I am finishing my business degree but lately the drugs have started to take a hold and I'm starting to no care about my ambitions anymore. I want to stop. But I always go back to it after 2 weeks and I'm not sure what to do. Hi there. I used to have a secret opiate addiction but I'm clean now and have been clean for 5 years. I got clean by mainly not keeping it a secret anymore and asking for help. NA is a great place to start. Good luck internet friend. I secretly hate most of my friends because they are kinda annoying. I'm purposefully sabotaging myself. Driving me into a dark path of what I hope ends in suicide whilst simultaneously nursing giant dreams of molding myself into the person I want to be. Who'd be living the life I desire. Even I don't know if I want to live to become more.